the thing I sort of took away from grad school was this idea that you really can only speak to your own experience. And if I'm living in New England, it just feels like plaid is the way to speak to that the best. Plaid's often associated with like working class and um, blue collar. And I've always found it interesting that a lot of work in New England is sort of like this highbrow, um, like Newberry Street kind of um, paintings that don't really um, let a lot of people in, even though we have a lot of regular folk around here. You know, people who might want to be interested in art if they were sort of ha had anything they could relate to in the work around them. So um, that was sort of my goal that I was setting out, like this inclusivity. And I think it's evolved into more of a satire over the years, um, but I think in a respectful way. I don't feel like I'm poking fun at anybody. I think it's just, if I can sort of add humor to anything I'm doing, I feel like I'm achieving part of my goal as an artist. We have an incredibly creative, large group of people that work here, both professionally and emerging from college, from high school, whatever. And that group of people is making fantastic work. The part that is sort of tough about this community is that it's really hard to keep people here after they've graduated. Part of the, the community goal for me has always been how do we get people to stay here and keep making more subversive art. And as much as I love paintings of Mount Monadnock and, and this community, the sort of folk art style that kind of pops up a lot here too, I would love to see um, some of the younger people that are in this community stick around and make some work that is different than that so that we can have a wider variety of, of work in the area.